last night, the second theater company had a meeting and we decided that we are going to produce But How Fantastic, which is the play that I wrote. Uh, hello and welcome to the behind the scenes vlog of Second Theater Company's production of But How Fantastic, a play by, by Claire Hopkins. <laughs> this is just a little update where we are right now. Today is June 10th, Thursday, June 10th. We're announcing the show tomorrow. Technically, today is the last day that I can make any rewrites on the, on the show, on the script. So I shouldn't even be talking to you I, right now. I should be writing, but here I am. We have a venue. We're doing it at the Barbershop Theater, which is run by people I admire so much and I've just met. They're so cool. Nettie and Graham, you're the real ones. I think that's all. More updates to come. Thank you for being interested in my artistic process. So this is the couch we're gonna use uh, on the set and I have to destroy it because the, the design story that we're going with is that, that everything is reminiscent to what is going on inside of Ruth's mind. So there's this canopy of fabric above her and that represents this like nirvana that she believes she will achieve if she understands her place in the world or whether or not God exists or you know, if she gets Elle to fall in love with her. She thinks she, that that's what it will feel like, this like floaty thing. Um, and all of the stuff that's on the ground is the stuff that's actually going on in her head. Um, so there's going to be just like a, an explosion of chaos. <laughs> so we're going to use uh, this exacto knife and um, this bleach. We're going to fuck it up. Yeah, I'm basically just going in and stabbing it. On my, my Pinterest board for the set inspiration, there's a lot of just like grunge and punk houses with just like graffiti on all of the furniture and everything's like stained and ripped. Um, so that's what we're going for here. And I'm the one who gets to just freaking go for it. I don't wanna actually make it unsittable, so I need to still be a little bit careful where I'm stabbing. Kate, don't get too nervous seeing this. Yeah, this couch came from our director's house. It's huge, and it's a pretty nice couch, but um, I have a feeling no one will want this in their, in their home after, after I get done with it. Let's go in with some more bleach. <laughs> Just follow your instincts. Yeah, that looks dope. Just wanna pour this bleach. Oh, that's a bad idea, but I want to. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, splash. Huh, that was a lot. Honestly, I might want this couch after. Look at that color. That's so cool. It looks like a volcano or something. I need to go outside. <laughs> My eyes are starting to burn. I have two windows open and I still have a headache from all the bleach fumes. So if you're attempting a project similar to this, do it outside. I forgot to film the most exciting part. I cut my thumb carving an exclamation point into our coffee table. Here's how it's going. I started off with this and now I moved on to this. Guess which one cut me? It was the scissors. Yeah, there's gonna be a question mark over there and an exclamation mark over here. Um, how the frustration from having a question turns into anger in Ruth's mind. 
and in her life and actions and stuff. Not even anger, just like, just like an exclamation point. <laughs> like nothing, I'm confused, I don't understand things, so I have to be loud about it. Be if someone's gonna be like, wow, this wood was so beautiful and you just, you really just ruined it for your art. Pretty fun. Callbacks are starting now. <laughs> I know this isn't a good time, but I just wanted to tell you that you're going to play Ruth. <laughs> So I have to ask you something. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to be our L? <laughs> You're a genius person! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, we're all in here! Yeah. And so she's just kind of... <laughs> she doesn't understand things. Yeah, yeah. and that, with the Her light, it looks so cool! Just, oh my god. But has nothing um, so it's really cool and it's not all in the literal world that we are in right now and in order to help achieve that I would love almost like a soundscape for the show um, specifically for I'm doing good. I'm editing the But How Fantastic behind the scenes footage. Oh, fun! Yeah, it's really funny and sweet. It looks like we all like each other. Yeah, cute. All right, so we're back to Black Hoodie in front of her laptop, Claire, because I'm coming to you from the, like, pretty distant future. It's October 24th. I mean, it's not your future watching this, but future from the footage that you were watching. So, at the beginning of the process, I was very good about reporting and like getting every bit of what's going on. But at the end, when like, it was basically a group of my best friends in the theater, it was hard for me to like, actually think about documenting everything in a cohesive way, because I was just having fun. So the rest of the footage, it's just me and my friends having fun, basically. Um, we've got Kate Pearson, director, as you know, Marley, class and a stage manager, Hannah Boner, lighting design, um, Shelby Talbert, who I live with, Ruth, Christina Ray, who I live with, God3 slash ensemble, Patrick is played by Scott Bronze, one of my best friends. What's the other one? L. Played by Annika Burley, also one of my best friends. So that's just a warning. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. The show did go well, and you can watch it. It's up. You can watch a filmed version of the show, which I will definitely link to at the end. Um, I guess that's all. Enjoy the rest of the, the behind the scenes footage. Bye. What the concept is, is the puppets will be moving their mouths as Christina speaks. Okay, so am I looking at everybody? <laughs> wow, because everybody's saying it, but Christina's saying it. Yes. But does that make sense? Yeah. What? Hang on, I drew pictures and now I don't understand them. Are you recording? Not anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> but no box. <laughs> Every time, so that way there's no fumbling around trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you drop it left. Can I practice? Yes. Yeah.
That's me, I'm God. <laughs> well, me one. So are half of the people in this room. So happy. I'm and I'm the god because I wrote it. I built this universe. We are in your universe. You literally are. Right. <laughs> Why did it take you so long? Oh, oh what? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, could you be just say the food song? I'll take it to the top Gotta <laughs> say my thing first. <laughs> I don't do that this time. Okay, wait, so you locked the other ones in initially? You locked that one and uh -huh. that one? Okay, so lock those two. And then Shelby, once you push the coffee table, you'll come to that front corner uh -huh. and unlock it. And unlocking it is up. Yep. We're going to ride the couch down the street. And then you can walk around to the back of it. Because it would be fun. And then we'll figure out how exactly we're going to do this movement. It looks so cool. I'm obsessed. It's starting. I found uh, the whole right? cute key. Yeah, awesome. Can I have paper on this? this Absolutely. Is no, we'll, we'll add. <laughs> Ruth? <laughs> Ruth T? Ruth T? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. And then I forgot my first line. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, loud noise. Pity him instead! Alright. Not your bow tie. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, it was an accident, wasn't it? I mean, that's what you've been saying. Why are you showing me this? That's not the truth, is it? Wow. You wanted that to be you, huh? Oh my gosh, can cool. you turn it off? You can leave the tray on the ground and let Annika pick it up. Okay. Gander, because cause she's a bird. Is Gander a bird? Yes. Gander, yeah, like geese. A gander, isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was a flock. Oh, just for fun. Uh, Patrick, let's go for me to learn that party oh, last they year. They look cute. That party last year, when Ruth showed up, I kept thinking to myself. I'm in an eight right now. Hi. Do you want to be oh. in it? I kind of just wanted your attention. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you need it. No, we're, we're not done yet. That was the only, that was the seventh time we've done that bridge. <laughs> to do it longer. <laughs> Sorry, seven. Oh my god, that's a huge part of it. Um, seven oranges, just inside. Then I'd wait a week. No need, I'm in no rush. Next week, I would break in and put six eggs in their, seven eggs, damn it, in their sink. I'd take out a billboard on their way to work that just says seven dash seven, like July 7th. I would let it get to the stroke of midnight on seven seven, nothing will have happened. They are like, hmm. All the lights in their house go out, I cut the cord, I <laughs> knock them out, I tie them to a tree, and I just let them starve in the woods, wondering what the fuck it all meant. I just want them to wonder what it all was about. Are you filming this? So then how do you know Claire Hopkins like <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she is very private about her personal life, okay? She doesn't necessarily politicize a lot of the things that she does, despite the fact that like everything she does is for the good of other people. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think, I think that if there was a second coming of Christ, Dolly is a candidate, her. okay? And a theater major who will remain unnamed said to me, This was a female musical theater. I or not, like not, not musical theater, but. Oh, I know exactly no, who that is. No, will you say who it is? Is that film? I'll, tur I'll turn it off. Claire is a. <laughs> I'm not. Why would I put that in a video and publish it? I'm going to edit all of it. Okay, I'll turn it. I had four doctors <laughs> pull a blood positive Lyme test and look me in the face and tell me that I don't have Lyme. Okay? Lyme. Okay. Sketchy, <laughs> right? Wow. So yeah. my mom and I 
I started doing some research about when Lyme became a problem. And okay, it's gonna get crazy. We're gonna talk about Hitler. Okay? I love so, that. <laughs> so, I'm a kid. World War II, Hitler had a bunch of scientists that worked for him in order to create new forms of weaponry that he could use to destroy people. There was this one scientist doctor guy, I don't remember his name, but when um, the World War ended, America ended up hiring him. The American government hired him and brought him over to America to do his same job for them that he was doing for Hitler. This is confirmed. This employment is confirmed. That's the operation paper list that happened to a lot of people, actually. Yes, and so they sent him to this island off of the coast of Connecticut. The city that it was on the coast of it is called Lyme, Connecticut. Before Lyme disease existed, okay? I'm ready. This specific scientist, his specialty was injecting insects with modified diseases. And the theory was that you could put a bunch of these insects in some kind of makeshift bomb and dump that bomb <gasps> in a country, let bomb. the insects loose, and the entire country's population would die after being infected with this disease. That was the point of this creation. So obviously this island had a ton of security on it. There was only a handful of people that were even allowed on the island because you could accidentally get bitten and die. Sure. Which is terrifying, right? Mm -hmm. And so, the so there was like the scientists who worked there, and then the only other person who went to the mainland, to the island, was the person who drove the ferry boat. I used to know his name. I don't anymore. Okay. The first case of Lyme disease, what we now know as Lyme disease, was for that ferry man. And then Lyme disease started spreading from Lyme, Connecticut out into the rest of the country as the ticks had gotten onto the boat onto the um, American's mainland and started spreading, invading, and mutating. And that is when Lyme disease came into existence. Yeah, it's opening night! It's opening night! What's your pre-show process? I uh, usually ate some candy. Uh, oh. Not that I ate it already. Oh, okay. What did you have? Dots. Oh, from yesterday? From yesterday. Cool. Um, tomorrow I'll have sour belts. <gasps> no. um, but then I have, I have some candy and then I sit here and think about absolutely nothing. Not a thing goes through That's my good. How do you stop the thoughts? Um, just did it. I don't know. You look so pretty right now. Hey, you really do. I'm just waiting for my gin and tonic. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I get it. She's 21 now. <laughs> no, we what? Don't eat before you pray. You gotta bless the meal. Hey, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 